you'd like to join the classes live in the masjid, then click on the link below. Inshallah, it will take you to a telegram group that has the details of all the class timings, the dates, the days, the addresses and the locations of the masjid. So click on that link and hopefully we'll see you there inshallah. Imam Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he said also in Asara'iq al-Mursala, he said, Man kana fi qalbihi adna haya, aw mahabba li rabbihi. If a person has inside of his heart even a small amount of shyness for Allah or even a small amount of love for Allah or even a small amount of intent and want to see Allah in paradise or even a small amount of shawq, excitement to meet him then this person, he will study Allah's names he will learn if he has a small amount of love for Allah even not a big amount, even if he has a small amount of love he will go and learn who Allah is. If he says, I want to see Allah, I want to meet Allah, I want Allah to talk to me, I want to be able to see Allah in paradise. He will study, he will learn who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. And he will hope to be increased in understanding who Allah is. And he will ask questions about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till he learns. وَأَكْبَرُ مَقَاصِدِهِ It's going to be the greatest objective in his life. وَعَدَمُ مَطَالِبِهِ It's going to be the greatest thing that he requests. وَأَجَلُ غَيَاتِهِ It's going to be the most honorable goal that he has. Imagine a person who doesn't try to learn who Allah is. It shows, Ibn, Ibn Qayyim saying, the one who has even the smallest amount of love for Allah, we want to learn who he is. Everyone says, I love Allah. Okay, then learn. You love the girl down the road. A'udhu Billah. So you want to get to know her, so you can marry her, marry her in a halal way, yeah? In a halal way. You learn about the one you love. You learn about the one you love, right? So if you love Allah, you want to see Allah, you want to meet this girl, so you want to learn about her. For marriage, sister, you want to meet your husband, so you want to learn about him, right? You want to, you want to learn about him. You want to, in fact, you start seeking knowledge because of the girl. I know a brother who started studying, he started studying Hanafi fiqh because he wanted to marry a girl who was Hanafi. Wallahi, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A girl will say, what? Marry you, niqab, everything for the guy. But my point is that it shows your aspirations and your passions are in what? Even though you should put a niqab anyway, don't worry. Don't come with this nonsense of, oh, I'm only going to do it for the sake of Allah. I don't want to do it. You know, just do it. Inshallah, we'll come for Allah's sake tomorrow. It shows where our aspirations are. What moves us is not Allah, unfortunately. What moves us is everything but Allah. What moves us is everything except for Allah. Does that make sense? So, even a person with a small love, this proves that you love Allah.